I've set up a 5 element antenna array on the roof of my car uh, with a radius of about 200 millimeters, which is sized correctly for frequencies of around 400 megahertz. The cables run into the car, into the Kraken SDR, which is sitting on the passenger seat, uh, which is plugged into the Raspberry Pi 4, which is running all the code. Both the Kraken SDR and the Pi 4 are powered from the cigarette lighter jack. My Android phone is running a Wi-Fi hotspot, which the Pi 4 is automatically connected to. And here I've loaded the Kraken SDR web interface, where I'm just going to enter the frequency of interest and set the gain. And then I'll click on Update Receive Parameters to recalibrate the device to that frequency. Now I'm going to enable a circular antenna array. And I'm going to set the radius of that antenna array to 0.2 meters. And I'm going to enable the music direction finding algorithm. Quickly check the spectrum display to see if the signal is there. Yes, it is. And now we can check to see if the direction of arrival graph looks reasonable, which it does. So we can open the Kerberos SDR Android app, which is still valid for the Kraken SDR. Um, enter the server IP address, uh, change your log file name to whatever you want to log it as, and check your settings. Make sure the bearing mode's on GPS. You've got circular antenna array uh, selected, and any other settings you want to change. Now we can start our drive. As before, the red line indicates the direction of movement, and the blue line indicates the direction of the signal, which is estimated by the Kraken SCR. If the GPS navigation feature is used, then it will initially take us to a point 5 kilometers away. That point chosen is an average of where the blue radio direction of arrival bearing line has been pointing recently. It shows up on the top map as a small black dot. The GPS navigation will reroute to the new position of the black dot every 2 minutes. The red target on the top map indicates the current estimated position of the transmitter from the currently logged data. Over time it will update and get more accurate. When it turns green, that indicates that there should be enough data to have a reasonably accurate estimation of the transmitter location. For this demonstration I've marked the known position of the transmitter with a red marker. Here the target point is just about to turn green and now the GPS is going to reroute us to the new location. So it's telling me to turn around um, at the upcoming roundabout. to reach the transmit tower, which you can see in the video. You can see that the estimated target point was quite close to the actual transmitter location. And back in the map, we can load the log file up and review the data collected. Um, here I've increased the resolution of the grid as well. And as you can see, the estimated um, location was quite close to the actual transmitter location and you can see the transmitter right there on um, the satellite photo and the color of each dot indicates how strong the RF power was at that location with red being quite strong and green blue being quite weak and obviously the blue lines indicate the bearing towards the transmitter determined by the Kraken SDR and now we're going to try and direction find new transmit tower, which is just to the west of this transmitter.
Now we're going to go and try find one more transmitter. Uh, this one is a little more difficult to find as it's using a Yagi antenna, so the signal might be weak in some areas and strong in others. And it's possible that multipath might become more of a factor. And as you can see from the log file, we were able to find the transmitter location with good accuracy. Although we often had to ignore the GPS navigation, as the navigation was often corrupted by multipath due to the directional nature of the Yagi antenna. Thanks for watching, and look out for Kraken SDR coming to Crowd Supply soon.